and it is a mom Monday here on News 13 and we have Jessica from Cooking Bright. She is a food enthusiast and kitchen enabler and you've brought along your kids, Jessica. I have. I am truly a mom as you can see. I have my <laughs> son Max and my daughter Madeline who help me all the time in the kitchen and it's really a lot of fun to, to share and, and to teach our kids different things not only because it gives us quality time together and it helps with other things but it also helps them to learn hopefully to eat a little more healthy and have a longer life. Exactly and you are actually hosting a series coming up at the library. Yes I am. It's going to be in conjunction with the St. Andrews Farmers Market. It's going to be Thursday nights starting the Thursday after Thanksgiving so November the 29th and it's going to run for the next four weeks ending on um, December the 20th. It starts at 6 p.m. at the Public Library. It's completely free. Oh that's amazing. Yes and you can go to the website for the waterfrontfarmersmarket.org and, and sign up for the class. Fantastic, and we'll put a link on, on our web channel as well. So what are we cooking this morning? Well, we're in the season of winter squash, so we're going to start out um, by talking a little bit about winter squash. These are great. If you Have you ever cooked winter squash? No. no. <laughs> and in fact, you're going to have to help me out a lot. I'm just learning to well, cook. Well, starting with the basics, this is why I call myself a kitchen enabler. Okay. Um, the winter squash come in a variety of different shapes and colors and sizes. Um, this is a Hubbard squash, which as you can see looks a lot like a pumpkin. Yeah. Um, there are also, you can do a pumpkin the same way that I'm going to show you. Um, butternut squash is also a popular winter squash. My kids actually really like that one because it's sweet. It tastes a lot like a sweet potato. Okay. And then this is an acorn squash. The hardest thing about cooking winter squash is actually cutting them open. I've already cut this one in half. Be really careful when you do it because they are um, pretty tough on the outside. Okay. Once you cut them open, inside you can see they have seeds, kind of like pumpkin seeds. Uh -huh. These are great roasted. If you want, you can save those and roast them as a healthy snack. So you're not wasting anything? No, nothing at all. Or you can, if you want, save them and plant them and have some more winter squash next year. But just take a spoon and scrape out the inside of your squash like so. And here, Max, I'll let you do the other one for me. Do you want to scrape that for me? And then once you've got them all scraped out, you can bake them in the oven, Okay. you can microwave them, or you can even cook them in a slow cooker. But what I like to do is I put them in a baking dish like this. Okay. Pour a little water in the bottom and then bake them at 350 for about 30 minutes, cut side down. And you'll know they're done, these have already been baked actually, because they'll be fork tender. So okay. you'll be able to pierce it with a fork. And once it's done, you can take your cooked squash uh -huh. and you can just scrape it out and mash it up and use it as a, as a dish like that. Or I'm going to show you a little later this morning something else we can do with them. Once they're cooked, we're going to fill it with something and make it even more delicious. Oh, great. And so, Max, are you a big fan of squash? Um, kind of. Kind of? You're learning to like it? Yeah. And what's your favorite thing to do in the kitchen? Uh, helping my mom cook. Oh, great. And when did you start the children cooking? Really, um... Max had his first responsibilities when he was about two years old. He oh, would wow. he would help set the table. It was very creative, but regardless, it was great to have him involved and have him engaged. Smartest thing I ever did in my life was relocating where some of the things in my kitchen go so that he was able to reach them himself. Okay, and what about Madeline? When did she start? She, about the same time, she's very helpful in the kitchen, aren't you, sweetie? And um, yeah. she is now my official table setter, and she's great at folding napkins. You should see the way she folds them, all kinds of designs. Well, you're going to have to show me how to do some of that, okay? All right. Well, you're going to stick around. We're going to do some more delicious things with the squash, and we're going to take a quick break right now.